scientific notation. So in the practical world, we sometimes work with very large or very small numbers. And this could include, for small numbers, the size of atoms, or large numbers, maybe the size of planets. And to write these numbers efficiently, you can imagine writing a huge number, we don't want to be writing the number forever. We write them in scientific notation. And in scientific notation, they're expressed as some number times 10 to the power of another number, where the initial number A, we want to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. And let's have a look at an example. So if we've got 38 million, in scientific notation, it's going to look like 3.8 times 10 to the power of 7. And for a small number, like 0 0.000489, that's going to look like 4.89 times 10 to the power of minus 4. So for big numbers, our power ends up being positive, and for small numbers, it ends up being negative. So how do we do this? All we have to do to write in scientific notation is we put a decimal place after the first non-zero number. So our first non-zero number is right at the beginning here, three. We put the decimal place after, after the three. That's why it's here. And over here, our first non-zero is four. So we're putting the decimal place after the four. Then we're going to times by 10 and put the corresponding power, which would move the decimal place from where it is right now to where it's where we're putting it after the first non-zero. So in this first example, the decimal place was here, and we want to put it here. And we can look at how many jumps over the numbers we have to make. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's why our scientific notation number ends up being to the power of 7. For our other example, the decimal place is here, and we want to put it here. And how many jumps is that? Well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's why this is to the power of minus 4. So let's have a look at some other examples. Let's look at 4,400,000. So to write it in scientific notation, we write all our non-zero non numbers. So here it's just four and four. We put the decimal after our first non-zero, which is after this first four. We write times 10. And because it's a big number, we know we're gonna to have to have a positive power. And let's work out what that power is gonna be. So currently in a whole number, the decimal place is always at the end. We wanna put it here. How many jumps is that? Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to put a power of six. What about 0 0.000003? So this is a small number. So we're gonna, we know we need a negative power. We put our decimal, we write our first non-zero number, which in this case is a three, because everything else is zero. Right, a times 10. And we know it should be a negative power because it's a small number. Currently our decimal's here, and we want to put it here because we're ending up with a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know we need a power of minus eight. What about going the other way? When we have it in scientific notation and we want to write in expanded form. 4.7 times 10 to the 4. So because we have that positive power, we know we're getting a big number. So all we have to do is write 4.7 with some zeros after it, because it's going to be a big number. And we need to move the decimal place four times to the right, because it's a big number. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. And we end up with 47 
1000. We don't have to write the other zeros, I just put them there just in case we needed them. Let's look at one more. 5.93 times 10 to the minus 3. Well, this time we know we're getting a small number, so when we write an expanded form, we want to write some zeros before our numbers. Let's write a few. 5.93 and we know we need to move this time the decimal place to the left, not the right, because we have a negative power and we need to move it three times. So we're going to move from here, one, two, three. So a decimal ends up going there. We don't need all those zeros before it, but we'll take the zero before the decimal point. So 0 0.00593. Thank you.